good morning students now we are going to discuss the topic on reconciliation of cost and financial accounts already we have uh, i have made videos in reconciliation of cost and financial accounts one more problem in it now already i have told you about it may appear in the company's cost accounts or the profit may be disclosed in the books of the financial accounts but in this sum we are to see about in both the answers are given for cost account and for financial accounting is given both the methods can be done but i am going to teach you about in cost accounting reconciliation of cost and financial accounts is given profit disclosed by a company's cost accounts for the year was rupees 50000 whereas the net profit as disclosed by the financial accounts is 29750 so both the answers are given as i have told you first method we would choose as profit as per cost accounts and we would derive the answer to financial accounts so the following information is available overheads as per cost accounts were estimated at rupees 8500 the charge for the year shown by the financial accounts was rupees only 7000 by this itself we could find it is over recovered so you are adding in the profit as per cost accounts okay so 8500 minus 7000 you get 1500 rupees that we are adding to cost accounts second one the charge the directors fee shown in the financial accounts only for rupees 2000 directors fees shown in the financial account is already clearly given so in the books of the cost accounts it has to be taken to the deduction side of this method so 2000 we add directors fees in the deduction side the company allowed 5000 as provision for doubtful debts expenditure of rupees 30000 was made depreciation at 5 percentage per annum was provided for in the financial accounts for 6 months regarding this a small note for the depreciation calculation the methods of charging depreciation differ from cost accounting and financial accounting for example straight line method or diminishing balance method is adopted in financial accounts whereas in cost accounts machine hour rate or production hour rate or unit method may be adopted i hope you understand the depreciation so it is taken to the provision for doubtful debts 30000 at the rate of 5 percentage for 6 months it comes to 750 so it appears in the deduction side share transfer fees received during the year rupees 1000 we have received for share transfer we are taking it to the addition side next provision for income tax was rupees 15000 that is given in the deduction side of 15000 so when you add from 50000 plus 1500 and 1000 it comes to 2500 addition alone comes to 52500 with the deduction in it you get the of uh, a uh, deduction value of 22750 you get the answer as 29750 which is already given in the sum in the problem we have seen that net profit as disclosed by the financial account was rupees 29750 so that is the profit as per financial accounts so hence the answer derived hope you understood the problem students again we would meet in the next video regarding reconciliation of cost and financial accounts thank you